Sex ain't better than love. <laughs> sex ain't better than love. And welcome. Today we're going to talk about how sex is not sacred. Nah, <laughs> just kidding, but I'm not. <laughs> you just always gotta be that girl. I am that girl, you know what I'm saying? So, we're the sinners here to disrupt and dismantle per usual. Disrupt and dismantle for sure. I know. I've seen it. If I've seen it, you've seen it. And if you've seen it, everybody else has seen it. Because we all be seeing the same shit. Many a people will say, when you have sex with somebody, it's a soul tie. It's so sacred. whoop de whoop de whoop And I'm not disagreeing. I am not saying that there is no factualness. There's like there's no energies being exchanged. Nothing, no truthfulness to yeah. that statement. It's very true. But it's a choice. Am I saying it's a drag? Yes. It's a choice. Whenever you have sex with somebody, yes, you exchange energies, but you choose what energy you are going in before you even have the sex. You're either soul tying, you're being sacred, you're having fun, it's just the fuck, like you choose. Unfortunately for y'all, for a lot of you, you always choose to soul tie. That is a terrible thing. I don't think it's necessary. Yeah, I feel like you shouldn't open yourself to, up like that to yeah, anybody. And then it sucks for you people who do that because you go in soul tying whereas the other person is going in to have fun. That's how you get played. That's how you get played. That's so how it's will get you played. That's how relationships end. Because or don't ever start. Or don't start. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how you get ghosted. Because you're trying to soul tie you with everybody. If you only want to soul tie when you have sex, then you need to say that shit out loud. And don't compromise because yeah, don't compromise. even when you be like, okay, I can just do this. At the end of the day, what you want is that angle. So like... Yeah, you'll go through the motions, but you're still going to want that angle. So, like, mm -hmm. don't compromise mm -hmm. your wants or needs or boundaries or whatever you want to call them. Just for, like, some pleasure. It ain't that deep. Sex is as sacred as you make it. It, it can be Facts. sacred, but it doesn't have to be sacred. Like, and when we have sex, it's sacred. Yeah. It's sacred as fuck. But if we have sex with another person, we're just having fun. We fucking. We fuck. We having fun. We getting it cranking. You know what I'm saying? That is not sacred. Are we exchanging energies? Yes. We are exchanging fun. Sexual energy. Sexual energy. And sometimes it's just that. Like, you can have sex with feelings on and you can have sex with feeling off. No, you are choosing. It's physical. You get what I'm saying? You are choosing to go in with feelings involved. Every time. Why? To get played. I think sometimes when people say it like, oh, it's sacred, they're saying it in a sense of like, your body is precious. It is. You know what I mean? Which I 100% agree with. Mm -hmm. And like, is most of the time, ideally, you do have control of who is doing what to your body. That is the ideal scenario. Yes. Very ideal. And... With that being said, I feel like that's when that comes into play and, like, be mindful of who you are letting into your body. Because at the end of the day, like, it's crazy out here. It is crazy. You shouldn't scissor with just anybody. And you shouldn't allow any man to go into you raw. A man going in you raw is one thing. But allowing a man to come inside of you is crazier. Especially on a one night stand. And you don't know if people sanitize their toys or people wash their hands. You do have to be careful. hundred yes. percent. Like you do because be this is the only body you get. And so do you need to take the best care of it? Yes. Do you need to be conscious of the decisions you are making? Yes. Because at the end of the day, sex is about being consenting and being up forth and being honest. Mm -hmm. And if you are not, well, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> um, and it's okay for sex to just be for fun. I, it can I feel like be. that's I feel like, the energy we're exchanging. Fun. I feel like I always see on the internet like people trying to come down on casual sex. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with casual sex. Take this. There's absolutely nothing wrong with casual sex. Take this from a reform promiscuous girl. Okay. One. Sometimes all you have time for is casual sex. Okay. <laughs> when you are 
living, working, doing all kinds of things, and you know you cannot maintain a relationship, but every now and again, you need a little physical. That is when casual sex comes into play. Are there sometimes you keep sleeping with somebody and they say, you know, y'all end up fucking with each other? Yeah, because, you know, Heavens. you built a, a joint, mm-hmm. an energy, whatever. But it's like there are also sometimes where you know you and a person, the only thing y'all have in common is that we enjoy having sex with each other. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to have sex. That's it. And that's it. That's it. It's okay to be there, but if you don't want to be that, you need to speak up. Sex can be, yes, sex can be casual. Sex can be serious. Sex can be fun. Sex can be experimental. Sex can be so many things. Sex can be shit traumatizing. It can be so many things. It can definitely be traumatizing. But like... Yeah, like you don't gotta open up your chakras or whatever you open it up. They to make everybody. it so deep. Like, it ain't that. Yes, sex can be so deep. I I understand it can be sacred. I have that with my wife. Like it can be that, mm. but y'all are making it that with every encounter. Because also, what is like I think somebody will come and I'm like, you know what, we're gonna have sex. That sex is trash. What's nothing sacred about that? If you're in a relationship with someone, a relationship, like both of you said, we are together, not just talking, not just entertaining, like situationship, a real relationship, then it's definitely okay to open yourself up. Open yourself up because y'all are supposed to be committed. But if nobody, if y'all didn't together have the conversation <laughs> together, because bitches be delusional. Sometimes niggas, but motherfuckers be delusional. Motherfuckers be delusional. <laughs> motherfuckers. Motherfuckers be delusional. <laughs> so you have to have the conversation. Like it's okay to say, "Who are we? What are we? What are we doing?" That's and not I feel like your yes, and I feel like society makes it seem like it's so like wrong. Like you be impressed. Like no, ass. I'm being I concerned. Know. I'm curious. Like a bitch need to know how I'm supposed to move. The, you know what I'm saying? feel like I have always been. That I kind need of to person. know. Like what are we doing? I need to know. If I'm having sacred sex or not. Bitch, I need to know if I should be talking to other people or not. Like, I need okay? to know. Should I like, open my chakras? Let me know what's going on. Should I cut off my other holes or not? Yeah, I'm saying. It's like, nothing wrong with asking that question. If you ask somebody, what are we? What are we doing? And they get offended. They don't want to do what you think absolutely. you want to do. It's That's what that means. It's a cop out. They don't want to do it. So they, why? They even, don't want to hurt your feelings. You know what I'm saying? Because but they, they don't want to do around. it. They want to keep you around, but they don't want to be committed because they're just enjoying the fun energy that they're exchanging with you. Whereas you're trying to exchange more powerful energy. And the common misconception is just because you're asking, you want more. It's like, no, 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 yeah, no. I don't mean that either. I'm asking because sometimes I want to make sure we're on the same page. That's because true. Because I could be feeling one way and you are not. You're true. doing too much. So it's like, you need to be sure there's nothing wrong with asking questions to mm-hmm. be sure. Like, I feel like people make it say, like, oh, you're just supposed to go with the flow. No, the flow will have you fucked up. The flow. Yeah, sometimes. Fucked up, brokenhearted, and lonely. The flow be flowing too much. You need to know, what is this flow? Okay, bitch, so I need to know if I need to get out the water or not, okay? <laughs> What's the stream? What is the stream doing? <laughs> <laughs> Let a bitch know if I gotta go up or down. Like, am I going down to see where am I pushing back at? Like, getting out the motherfucking water. You what feel are we doing? me? You and your feelings need to leave that person. Yes, because just because you're talking about your feelings don't also don't mean we being all like vulnerable and mushy and like yeah. we just talking about our feelings. Like, yeah, what's up? Like, what are we doing? That should be normal. Normalize talking about your feelings. Yes, normalize expressing yourself. Asking me, asking whatever, what's up? Like putting your feelings on the table, putting yourself out there. Like right. what's that's the worst it. thing happening? They say no, you're salty, you're embarrassed, you're rejected. Everybody got to deal with a little rejection every now and again. Every now and again. Every now and again. It's a part of life. It is. You be all right. Walk it off. I mean, that's that's really all I had to say about that. I feel like somebody's always trying to tell me that sex is sacred and sacred only. Yeah. The way I feel is keep Mike, fucking. No, it's not. Keep soul tying. Keep doing what you're killing. You know what I'm saying? Soul tie if you want to soul tie. Just Make sure you soul tie to the motherfucker that be, wants to soul tie with you. Be a conscious fucker. Okay? That's it. A clean one. A safe one. That's it. That's all. That's it. I ain't got nothing else to say. Shame is being made.